Hello, everybody. This is Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw! And here we are, baby. We're back with some more auto chess. This new update has been really cool, and I feel like it's done some really exciting stuff to the meta, and I really haven't gotten to dig into it as much as I would like. So this is a video of me just testing out a build that I'd really like to play around with. You know, the new glacier synergy is cool, but it's kind of hard to get. So for instance, on this match, we do see that, uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> okay, uh, who, we, who we taking here? Goddess of Light's kind of a cool early choice, I find, uh, just in case I want to lose a whole bunch, baby. But let's do let's do you two chuckleheads. So, okay, back to what I was talking about. With the limited legends, uh, you might not get the Sacred Lancer, which is the glacial warrior uh, legendary character, which makes it hard to, well, almost impossible to complete the six glacial without them. So I wanted to do a build where you would still benefit even if you didn't happen to grab that unit, if it wasn't available. So this is going to be using, ooh, a couple druids early. This is kind of fun. Let's take this. And then I'm gonna get rid of you and you. I'll grab these two witchers as well. So kind of a weird start here. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to do Wizard Glacial, and I'm going to use that to really power up the attack of one particular unit. I'm thinking Avenge Knight would be the way to go here. So the way this works is I need all three wizards, and once I have those three wizards, you can activate one synergy to its highest level as long as you're not activating any others so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get uh two glacial units out there and by doing that and act and activating no other synergies besides wizards of course i will get our f <laughs> i'm realizing as i'm explaining this i'm like breathlessly go uh, uh, and then and then I will have uh, our full synergy for all of our full glacial synergy. And I'll use that to really power up one unit. Most likely Avenge Knight is what I'm thinking here. So I'm going to get two glacials. And then I'm going to really power up one unit in particular, Avenge Knight. Using those three wizards, we'll have our six glacial synergy. And hopefully our Avenge Knight will just start going nutty. Units that I'll use to round it out, um, you can use, uh, as long as they're not creating a synergy, you know, another synergy. Ooh, that's nice. Like a nice little early Warpwood Sage. Gotta love that. Um, who should I, oh, Defector, we need you for later. You're for later, buddy. Not now, but later. Skybreaker again. We've got three Goblin here. I could do Goblins and this Warpwood Sage. Let's look at our items really quick. I want something that works well for our, hmm. I'm thinking I'm gonna take this Dracula mask and this wooden club and I'm gonna put that on Avenge Knight when it's time. Round 10 will kind of help me decide that for sure. And then this row, I will probably be taking this lucky coin. I might take this Magicka Crystal for uh, one of our other units, but I really want to power up our unit that's benefiting most from the attack speed, which I plan on it being Avenge Knight. Okay. Oops. I was trying to grab that Red X Chief. Didn't do it in time. Too slow, Jake. There's our Taboo Witcher. This is uh, interesting because we just have the start of a really uh, simple Feather build. I'm going to get rid of these mechs here. I don't need them. Um, I'll take you. So right now we've got Feathered and three Assassins. Not bad. Not a bad start. Not at all what we're looking for, but not a bad start at all. I mean, 
this is a nice little setup here. You got your three assassins that are going to do some damage. You got two two-star feathered units in the front lines there just doing some work. This is what happens when you're just kind of going with the flow early, you know? Every once in a while, things start to kind of work your way. Okay. Um, I am going to grab these. So, that is you and you. Combine this. I can easily put this on our little assassin back there. I can put it on uh, Tebu Witcher too, right? That would be kind of fun. God, don't you love Warpwood Sage? I feel like I don't get to use Warpwood Sage often enough anymore. He was so powerful at one point. I felt like he was the part of like every divine build I would see. <gasps> Shining Assassin. So beautiful. Wow. And a wizard that we need. Wow. Early Shining Assassin. I mean, you got to love that. That's just cool, man. Could I do it with Shining Assassin? Hmm. I mean, if I didn't activate a Feathered Synergy, could Shining Assassin be my crazy carry unit? I was going to use Avenge Knight because Avenge Knight just gets powered up. It feels like it should be Avenge Knight, really. But, I mean, Shining Assassin's a great unit for this. Just the staying power of a unit like that. Now, in general... Uh, if this is happening right now, this is an easy transition to Feathered Assass. I would absolutely not be <laughs> going for the build that I talked about earlier. I would be taking what this game... Look at all these assassins, by the way. I mean, oh my gosh. Just brutal. Brutal. I would, yeah, I would definitely not be doing the build I talked about. I could do it with Shadowcrawler, too. Hmm. I could do it with Shadow Crawler. Got a Bissell Crawler here. Listen and you can hear the sea. I mean, this is just like crazy. A crazy amount of assassins to start with. It's not what I'm going for, though, so I gotta start getting rid of them, but holy moly. I mean. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Where was I? I could I could do it with a different unit. I, I mean, I was thinking of doing it with Abyssal Crawler for a minute, but Avenge Knight just gets so powerful. You know, every round you win, it gets more and more powerful. So I kind of wanted to stack that and use that bonus. Okay, moving into round nine here. This is usually when we level wow shadow crawler again i mean yeah i gotta level you gotta level unicorn and i could put a two-star unicorn out there i also could put another assassin out there um i think i'll just do the assassin though well i mean sun chaser servant isn't very good maybe i'll do the unicorn why not give everybody a chance to heal Sure. Okay. Back to what I was thinking. Now I wonder, do I switch this up? And do I put in someone like this little shadow crawler here? Maybe. Maybe I use shadow crawler for this build. So six glacial just gives us that escalating attack speed. And I mean, a unit like Shadowcrawler does benefit. The only problem is we can't have our Assassin Synergy, so I'm not going to get those big crits from the Assassin Synergy. However, Shadowcrawler does have big crits on their own. It's a low chance, right? It's like 10%? 10% chance of crit. Hmm. Oh, there's our Avenge Knight. Hi, sweetheart. Welcome to the team. I would like Avenge Knight out there. Uh, I'll swap them for you. Thank you. I'm just hoping that they don't that they don't target Avenge Knight right away. Let's see if this works. You know, I'm just gonna put Avenge Knight. You go back here. You go all the way back here. <laughs> we'll see if we can get him to not target you right away, buddy. Uh, Frost Knight we can't use for this build because he will trigger our Knight Synergy. So I can't use Frost Knight. I need this little gentleman, Defector, and then I need Desperate Doctor. Those are the two I need for this build. Can I get five? 
Yeah, one, two, three. Dang it, Avenge Knight. You did exactly what I didn't want you to do, and you got yourself killed. Oh, okay, you lived. <laughs> ah! All right. From here, um, let's see. What was the item we picked up? Kind of that boring one, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Our Golly Knight we can't use for this. Nobody here is useful except for Unicorn can give us some money. So, again, I need three wizards, and I need, which is... This little gentleman, Grand Herald and Grim Touch. I've got a Warpwood Sage who can work. I could also use the Shining Assassin as kind of a tanky unit, which could be fun. Or I could use, I mean, I could use Shadow Crawler. Just not that tanky in comparison, you know? And I've got Avenge Knight. So I've got a lot of what I need here. I just need to find the rest of them. We're on a winning streak, so it might be smart to win. Spoken like a genius. You know, we're winning. What if we kept winning? Wow, Jake, that's brilliant. All right, let's see. Broken sword. Uh, I don't really want to do that. I'll probably take this rune hammer. That's most likely what I'll take here. Three, uh, I'll sell you two. Okay, let's see. Nobody I need. That's fine. I'll take the rune hammer because I do want a python wand at some point. And let's think. How? I mean, I'm on a streak, so I kind of want to secure my streak here. But I've got a lot of two star units. I mean, the board's not going to get much better until I start leveling. Which is going to cost me a lot right now. I'll see if we can win this round. If not, that's okay. We don't need our build to be made this second. But once we're level 7, it's possible to complete our build at that point. At least the first phase of it. Phase 1. This is like a Marvel movie. And phase 1 can be completed at level 7. The level 7 part's the part that's not like a Marvel movie. So... You know, some of it's like a Marvel movie, and some of it's just like me talking. All right. Another Warpwood Sage. Not bad. Another Shadow Crawler. I mean, I feel like the game is like, hey, Shadow Crawler is part of this. <laughs> you got to keep him around. Water Spirit. Don't need you. Warpwood Sage is a great, like, tanky unit for us. Um, but it doesn't have to be Warpwood Sage. I mean, it can be Shadow Crawler. I don't know though, that's just, I feel like I lose too much bulk, right? Then again, if it's three star, then that'd be crazy. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I think I'm gonna move you back. I'm just gonna move you like right there. So you can still hit someone in the front line, but they gotta come to you if they wanna do something. Yeah, and that pulled that sword man all the way away from everyone else. Hard to keep that Avenge Knight alive, especially when I don't put any items on him to keep him alive. This last item, I think, is going to be a lucky coin. It could be a Magicka Crystal, but I'm just going to grab this coin at this point. I'm just, like, tired of it. Tired of thinking about it. Abyssal Guard. Um, actually, Abyssal Guard could work for our build, but we don't need them this instant. What does it cost a level? More than eight, right? Who would I put out there? Another assassin, probably. Eh, I'm fine. This is me. Loving money too much. I love money, but what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to not care so much about money. Once I have the ability to complete my build, I'm going to put my resources into completing it, and then I will build my money back up. It is a harsh lesson that I need to learn, dang it.
Okay. Hey, there's our Grand Herald. So we're on our way a little bit. And then this is a creep round, yes? Okay. All right, you creeps. Come on in and attack. Attack these people. That's what I want from you creeps. To attack those guys down there. And then you guys are up here. And you're like doing your thing like this. Right? Yes. This is my plan. I'm sticking to my plan. Okay. Okay, we're so close. <laughs> we're so close. We're going to be level 7. And then, well, that didn't work at all. Boy. Figure it out, Jake. It's a bummer to lose this feather. It, it's weird. I don't know if you do this when you, when you guys are playing. You have a build in your head, and then the game is literally giving you everything to make something else work. Like, this is the perfect setup for Feathered Assassin. It's just crazy. You know? So here, I did want this wooden club. That's what I planned on getting, and I'm going to take it. And I'll take this armor as well for now. Just move everyone around really quick. Um, This is fine. Okay. Here we go. We are now level 7. I can throw, I can throw another sage out there, just like another tanky unit. No one can arrest me for it. Can't go to jail for it. Hmm, maybe like this. Or maybe, maybe I do, maybe I do block. We'll see what happens if I block. Okay, where were we? Now the question is, do I start looking for my last wizard and starring up my Avenge Knight? I think I do. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start rolling here. I'll try to complete this build at level seven. It's a little easier at level eight because it's easier to find that uh, that sweet, sweet Grim Touch. But it might not happen. Ooh, we're gonna lose this one. We're gonna lose our. Oh, never mind. Never mind. False alarm. Didn't happen. We also need that desperate doctor, which I might have passed by on accident. Let's be fair. That sounds like something I'd do. All right. Let's see who we got here. Soul Devour, Unicorn, Warpwood Sage, Shadowcrawler again, Shadowcrawler again, Warpwood Sage again, Whisper Seer, okay, we've got, can I do this, if I put two wizards out, no, I think I have to put uh, the Warpwood Sage out as well to make that work. Hold on. Because if I put two wizards out and then my three druids, then it'll let me star up that Warpwood Sage. I believe. Don't quote me on this. I was moving too slow to make it happen. Jeez, nice having two Warpwood Sages out there, huh? Just like all that bulk. All the tanky, tanky bulk. Okay, here we go. Grim touches here. Oh boy, we gotta we gotta move. Don't you guys star now? There we go. Took me too long. Okay. Oh, I don't have my desperate doctor. Dang it! I was like, wait, what am I missing? I'm looking at my board like something's off here. It's desperate doctor, Jake. You don't have desperate doctor. All right. Right now, we're going to use two Shadow Crawlers, and we're going to find that last Glacial unit that we need. Star you up. Shining Assassin. I mean, it's definitely going to be Shadow. Shadow Crawler is part of our build. We almost have a three-star Shadow Crawler without even trying. We technically could use Shining Assassin as well, but then we have to we have to pick one. It's either Warpwood Sage or Shining Assassin. And so Warpwood Sage is already three stars, so I'm gonna go with Warpwood Sage. Hey, there's Avenge Knight and Desperate Doctor. Okay, here we go, this build's happening. So, Desperate Doctor's coming out. So is Defector. You're leaving us, Witcher. You're leaving us, Shining Assassin. And I get, to make this work right now, I have to drop either 
Shadow Crawler or Avenge Knight. Since Shadow Crawler is two star, I'll drop Avenge Knight for the moment. And this gives us. Just moved him around really quick. This isn't. This doesn't feel like good positioning. I need to change this. This gives us our first part of our build, which is six glacial, and uh, that's it. <laughs> So you can see the attack speed of sh uh, our Shadow Crawler just going nutty because of this. And what's happened again is we have our three wizards out. We have two glacials, so it's the only synergy being triggered. And that is giving us the highest level of this synergy, six glacial right away. I mean, right now I could use Shadow Crawler this whole time. I just think Avenge Knight would be cool. Because, actually, let me pull some of these people. You're not part of this build. You're not part of this build. You're not part of this build. Okay. We got to roll. We got too much money. It's burning a hole in our pockets. Who else do I want here, even? I'm just trying to think. Probably, like, a Doom or a Pirate Captain could work, right? They're both good for this. But I could all I could always get Avenge Knight out. I could level to eight and just pop Avenge Knight out there. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just level to eight, get Avenge Knight out there. Shadow Crawler's already doing all the work for everybody. I mean, look at this person just going bananas. Another Dracula mask. Uh I don't want to rune hammer this, but I think I'll do that. I could use that. Magic of Crystal, it's probably better, but who cares? Who cares about being better when you're just doing it right, baby? Uh, it's on you to stay alive a little longer. Okay. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a Vengeant out there now. I'm just gonna spend the money. You're the one? Nope. You're the one. All right, Avenge Knight, you go back here. Let's get this set up. This is just a bizarre looking setup. All right, I'm gonna move you guys over here. I'm gonna move you over here, give us some mana. So right now, uh, Shadow Crawler and Avenge Knight, their attack speed just starts to get faster and 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 faster because of this glacial synergy. I could have said faster a few more times, honestly. Look at that. Look at how fast that is. Okay, you, star you up, buddy. I need to star up this Avenge Knight already. It's crazy that I haven't. Grim Touch we've already got. Strange Egg, sure. Unicorn. Roll down a little bit. Pirate Captain, I was planning on using you at some point. All right, I'm just going to egg this Avenge Knight. I know I could use it for Shadow Crawler in a minute, and it would probably be even better, but screw it. I'm going to let him tank some damage, like, right there. You, same thing. Maybe I'll actually have you tank some damage. You can still jump on people's heads. I mean, Shadow Crawler is just... <laughs> we're, we've got a nutty Shadow Crawler, don't we? Put that on you. Put the other one on you, too. Avenge Knight will get stronger. But, I mean, this Shadow Crawler could be three-star very soon. Look at it go. Look at it go. Oh, my goodness. This is just brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. So I didn't plan on having Shadow Crawler. I plan on having, you know, a unit like a Pirate Captain right here or a Doom. But I'm fine with this. I'm having fun with it. That's for sure. Okay. Moving these guys around. Let's think. Um, do I anti-maga cloak this? I mean... Magic is really the thing that could kill us here. Let's look at what everyone else is doing. We've got a lot of cave. Cave Glacial Shaman. We've got Beast Demon Warriors. This person might be going for Nine Warrior here soon. Uh, we've got... What do we got here? Cave Demon with some Warlock. A lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of physical damage, honestly. Hmm. A lot of physical damage. 
boy, the unexpected surprise hero of this shadow crawler, man. I just didn't expect it. It's so fun to watch it just like jump around the battlefield and really do crazy work. Got Grim Touch and Desperate Doctor here for a nice little combo. That's always cool to see. Um, I don't think Defector. I don't think you three star pal. There's Avenge Knight. I'm gonna chop you up and cook you for dinner. Phantom Queen, I mean, is a possibility, but is true. right now all I'm thinking about. All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. Wow. How fun. I Jeez. <laughs> Shadow Crawler. I feel like... I'm going to admit... I'm going to make it a Maelstrom. It's not what I want to do. It's not the smart choice. But I just want to see the lightning hit. Let's do it. Three-star Shadow Crawler with a six glacial just going nutty. Look at it go. Pew, 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 pew. Go. Go, you nutty fool. Use your lightning. Wow. 13,000 damage. Ah! Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, I'll give you a little dagger. Here, you poke people with that too. And I guess I'll, I'll just combine these and make an anti-maga cloak. I'll, I probably should swap this onto uh, our crawler here, maybe instead of this guy, uh, just in case, you know, it gets blasted with a big hit of magic that can kind of keep it alive for a minute there. Okay, um, what are we looking for now? Well, the only things we're looking for are Avenge Knight and to level up. If I leveled here, I could get Pirate Captain or Doom out there, which would be fun. I can't use anything that creates a synergy. So, like, all these people are great, but they can't be a part of this build. I could naturally get Six Glacial, but I don't even see the point. I'm going to start leveling here and get us to level 9. Just get Pirate Captain out there. You know, it's a fun unit and it gives us that nice uh, bulk up front. You know what I could do? Oh, but then I don't get this wooden club. I'm taking the wooden club. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. I'm just continuing to power up these people. I could use that instead of this dagger here. The controls are so... Uh, ridiculous, by the way. You guys have seen me make control mistakes in this game before. I'm just worried that what I'm going to do is something stupid and <laughs> accidentally sell this three-star shadow crawler as I'm trying to move items around. Let's get this pirate captain kind of like this. And this is just a nice little stun. I was, You know, Doom is better because it combos with uh, Grim Touch, but nice little stun. Doesn't trigger any other synergies, so we're good there. Woo! Still doing work. Just doing work. Hey, there's Doom. Doom is a better call. Put Doom out here. We got a Rune Hammer, a Dracula Mask. I mean, you're full. Give those to you. Pretty powerful. I mean, we, we are powering up this Avenge Knight considerably. I bet if I switched all the items over, he would be very strong as well. But how do you not... Give everything to your three-star shadow crawler there. How could you not? And the answer is you can't not. Okay. Very cool. We got Doom out there, which is nice. Can combo with Grim Touch if it gets an opportunity. But so can Desperate Doctor, which is just the best. Look at him go, man. Look at that attack speed. Gosh, what's it get to? Point two. Point two. I'm making another Maelstrom, I think. And we got an extra hammer, too. If I had an extra hammer, I'd extra hammer in the morning. I'd extra hammer in the evening. All over this land. Hey, sing it with me. Pirate Captain. 
I don't think this desperate doctor is going to three star. I just kind of picked it up for fun. I'm getting getting rid of him. Okay. If I two star pirate captain, I'll put it out there. Yeah. Or I mean, this has just been a crate. It just like crazy smash of a build. Uh, I, I couldn't even get my words to get <laughs> smash of a build. I don't think that's a thing that's any, that's ever been said, and I get why. Okay, let's see. Oh, a silent star, shadow crawler, but he'll pick it up. Smash, 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 smash. A smash of a build. Term no one's ever used before. Smash of a build. Strange egg. What are we heading into? Are we heading into a creep round? Now that the, the they let you do things before the round starts, my brain is like messed up. It doesn't work. It already didn't fully work. And now we're watching it not work even more. Took a delicious drink of coffee. Okay, so we are at round 29. Okay. This three-star shadow crawler has just made short work of everything. Just brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Another strange egg. Okay. Another revenge night. All right. We're really close to uh, three-starring our revenge night as well, which will be very cool. Something I also could do is I could remove this doom and I could put another Avenge Knight out there. That wouldn't mess with anything at all. It'd just be kind of fun to do. And the possibility there is if they both live, then they power up their little uh, ability, this thing, strike back. They get plus 15% attack if they live. This one already has plus 155 attack just from living all those rounds. So if they both live, then we get even more. That's what I've been told. I actually have not put that into practice myself. This is all hearsay. This build is complete hearsay and heresy. This build is heresy. Let's do it. Get him. Another rune hammer. My goodness. Uh, okay. Let's see here. We can't make any of these unless... I don't think I can make any of these. No. Screw it. We're making another maelstrom. <laughs> I don't. I, I mean, ooh, Avenge Knight. Okay, so let's see. So this one, oh, it didn't survive. Well, who cares? Egg. Three star Avenge Knight on the board, and I'm gonna start Pirate Captain. Why not? Who cares? On the board. Do I get Doom out there too? You know what? Let's just do it. I'm spending tons of money. Who cares? Doom. Welcome to the squad. Yeah. Wow. I mean, this is just... Wow. I mean, what a time. Woof. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have much to say except yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's what's gonna happen here. Star of Doom. That was really fortunate. Okay. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes things just fall into place. You know. Has anyone ever done this? Anyone ever just egged a one-star unicorn? I don't think so. That is a Jake Sprague original. Hey, a content cowboy original coming at you using a strange egg on a unicorn there. Uh, you know, when Jake's winning, he's just a wild, crazy idiot. And he does dumb things to make everybody laugh. <laughs> okay, folks. And I didn't even pick one of these. <laughs> I didn't even pick one. Ah! Uh, I'll just take the HP. Screw it. Is it over? Oh, it's not over. 
It's over. Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was really fun uh, getting glacial so fast. And then we were we were really fortunate to find so many shadow crawlers so early. But what a cool little build. We had Avenge Knight that would, you know, consistently get more powerful as we went. But we really focused on that shadow crawler because the game was just giving it to us. So that build again, uh, glacial at level seven by having those three wizards. And then we had Avenge Knight, Shadow Crawler, and Whisper Seer um, to complete that uh, build as well. And then, of course, uh, the two Glacials, Defector and Desperate Doctor. From there, I mean, as long as you're putting something in that doesn't trigger any other synergy, you will keep that six Glacial synergy. And you saw how well it worked for Shadow Crawler. I could imagine, you know, Abyssal Crawler, obviously, attack speed stacks on stacks on stacks. Avenge Knight, we could probably have put all of our items on Avenge Knight and seen a similar amount of damage, but man, really fun outcome. So there we go. Wizard Glacial. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. I love you so much, and I'll see you next time. Mwah.